baba adventure be here tibro le din kaam sa na erox e tibro kaam sa so i've got lots to carry today okay check out the dicky space it's used right let me see if i my laptop bag fits in or not because it's an editing laptop and it's big in size and this is the answer sheet my students you know mba students oh no what do i do let's put this in first and then no i need to share so i have to carry this no worries yeah the size of this laptop is very big and yeah guys i'm on erox yama erox 155 it's a smooth start let's go and when i put the stand down the start goes automatically so if i have to warm up what i'll have to do is i'll have to put the bike in double stand and then leave it like that Uh, so the first work for now is to go to my college i have to drop the answer sheets that i've corrected it was a task you know that i have two sections morning and evening It's not a joke huh? <laughs> it was a tough task but yes i have completed it i'll just go i'll give them the paper and pavitra is there i have to drop her and then i have to go to go to another place i've got a meeting busy schedule man busy schedule and i have to try out this erox i have to talk about this particular scooter also which i'll do let me let me find some time for that i don't know where i'll be doing that i'll just you know share with you my experience about this scooter i'm finding it very comfortable actually it's a maxi scooter and the only competitor for the scooter at the moment in nepal is like they've got a model 160 cc from aprila it's called sxr or srx something yeah that's one and even suzuki has got a model called bugman that's also a kind of competition for this but that's a little not that heavy on the engine side so yes this is my college let me finish the work here and come Okay, just dropped Pavitra. Now, afno kam shuru. This scooter is very aggressive, you know. It picks up like crazy. You give the throttle, there is immediate response. Of course, I heard that uh, it has got a, a CVT gearbox. Uh, I think you heard about CVT gearbox in many cars. Yes, this scooter also has got a CVT gearbox for automatic transmission. In the car I used to feel that yeah elastic effect but on this ba- scooter I'm not feeling it that way yeah I, of course there is a lag but it's okay it's not that irritating like it is in the cars and it's fun to ride this scooter it's fun and hang on I'll show you one more thing huh okay I I'm, I've stopped the bike here the ignition is gone it's not starting right and the moment i give the throttle it's on now again now this is a fuel saving technology they call it we have got a switch here which we can put it in a automatic which does this job and we can off that put off that also yeah on the left hand side we have got high beam low beam switch here indicator switch on and self start and this one here is not a pass light people uh, this is to toggle all the information here on dash on the console i've seen many indian uh, owners you know erox owners what they've done is they've modified the seat saying that uh, when they brake while they're riding they slide forward but i don't know this bike belongs to my old colleague dai so i don't know if you have changed the seat if it's a seat cover if, if this is how it comes in original but i am not uh, experiencing that you know i'm finding it very comfortable new scooter from Suzuki Evnes I've done the review of the scooter nice color check out the pickup check out the pickup overtaking is so freaking easy <laughs> it just pulls like that I have to be very careful <laughs> traffic these days you know rules and regulation they've got very strict norms but I don't think anybody is here with the laser gun I hope so 
anyways i shouldn't be promoting this kind of rash riding just that i'm excited you know riding this scooter that's all okay so now i'm going to another place in sanipa i've got a meeting there after that i have to go to one more place that's another meeting i've got a presentation and then after that it's my day i think i have to edit the videos so many things to do you know i was going through the reviews about this aerox 155 and this has got the same engine you know the engine is derived from r15's engine itself it's a liquid cooled engine i'm not going into technicalities uh, what i wanted to say is uh, i heard people were not happy with its shock absorber the, most of them said it's on the stiffer side and they recommended to change it i don't know maybe because i ride ktm adventure i'm not finding it that stiff the suspension back suspension it's better than that but yeah it's on the stiffer side but better than ktm adventure 250 that i ride on see this rough section and you know what i can saddle on this scooter this is the fuel tank here and good part is you can grip the fuel tank with your legs and you can saddle <laughs> it's almost like bike man it's almost like a bike about the pillion comfort you know pavitra was uh, sitting behind so she was there as a pillion yesterday also and today also and i was getting a feedback about the comfort and she was really happy she said the seats are very comfortable for the of course for the city ride it's, it will be comfortable but for the long rides i don't do double ride i do a solo ride so yeah i don't have to consider that much inside the city if pavitra is finding it comfortable that's enough cool right you know the tire size it's 14 inches most of the scooters you know they are uh, the, their tire size is the rim size i should say is around 12 inches they come with 12 inches but this one it's 14 inches before i forget the price the scooter is a little expensive it's 4 lakh 75 thousand approximately somewhere there that's the price of the scooter i think for the kind of taxation that we have in our country and with the kind of quality that the scooter has the price is justified <laughs> yeah so let me park my scooter here maxi and put on the stand before that itself the ignition went off so one thing you know we've got uh, hang on i'll show you the fuel tank is on the front push this that's it to access your under seat space this is the thing yeah and that's the tire size i was talking about you know it's huge we'll further talk about the scooter a little later one eternity later so people you know what i'd come here at 10 am right so it's quarter past four already it was a pretty long 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 time what is it why am i not able to unlock the vehicle okay i've done it and we had a long meeting we had a long presentation and finally i'm leaving this place now i need to go home just had lunch here you know shravan mahina bhanera sabai jana vegetarian khanchan so maile pani chak mar ke vegetarian khanu paryo o tyo beer ko photo lai avoid garnus i didn't have that because i am of course riding yeah let's come back to the subject it's all about aerox 155 let me go home i'll reach there and i'll talk little bit about the vehicle with you all until now i am having a great time riding this maxi scooter it's so very comfortable let me tell you do I go? Thanks guys. <laughs> guys, you know what? I am at the Kupandol signal and one thing I would like to tell. See, the way my legs are planted. No, they are not planted properly. I am just tiptoeing. It's a tall bike. Huh? My height for your reference is... 5.5 five. little more than 5.5 five. Oh, 
so yes people i am at my home now and uh, yes i have fallen in love with the scooter maxi scooter bike i mean it doesn't give you that character of a scooter you know whenever you are riding it i've seen many people modifying this thing i'll not require it i'm absolutely happy with whatever however it feels it's little bouncy spongy and it's good that's the 155 cc engine compartment here uh, when i look from the front uh, this has got a very aggressive look and the lights and all the drl it's a daytime and i cannot cannot show you like uh, how it's going to look but it looks uh, super sexy super cool and the lights are actually for the scooter the lights are good and you all know that i am not a kind of person who likes this accessories i don't like it the position of the indicator is here which is little odd for it's not visible but when the lights are on in the night it is visible but in the during the day time it might become a little bit of a problem the front forks they work absolutely cool they are not on a stiffer side that's the 14 inches uh, wheel on the front with the disc brake it has got a i think it has got a abs also single channel i'm not sure about it you can find it out yourself i'm not doing a review i'm not i'm just sharing with you my experience about the scooter it looks absolutely fine from the side and this is the radiator because it's a liquid cooled engine the noise this bike makes the sound is cool calm and composed here they've given a halogen indicator and a nice led tail lamp which also you know accentuates to the over overall look of the scooter i was very happy with the fact that you can saddle on the scooter you can ride it cool you can easily overtake the tank capacity is little less it's just 5.5 liters but then yes with the kind of mileage that this bike gives with the normal riding condition i haven't seen it in nepal but yes in india i have seen people claiming up, uh, around 42 kilometers per liter mileage overall the scooter is good and my first ride impression i mean i have been riding it from since yesterday but yeah i am totally impressed and i am freaking considering the scooter over that ktm adventure 250 and the reason is my health issues little bit of vibration also is uh, vibration is something which i cannot tolerate now so the scooter it has no vibration on your handlebars there's no foot peg for the rider that's where we plant our foot when you are riding so yeah there's no vibration there so overall i like the scooter maybe we can have a, a taller windscreen yeah if i happen to buy this scooter i am going to take it to delhi for you know adding up I, and i'm not a kind of person who likes accessories but yes of course uh, there is something uh, this thing wind visor is something which is very important if you are doing a long rides and this scooter is meant to be on the highways not on the, in the cities and the, yes there are few things that i didn't like like there, there's no place you know to put our mobile holder i've got a different mobile holder this is a local mobile holder and uh, they were adjusted in the mirror section but yes i want a place wherein i can you know put it in a very proper way and even this place this what is this uh, i mean see it's not that properly fixed it's very lousy fit you know this one and we have got a usb charger here what see we cannot uh, this place this store is this compartment we cannot have our mobile in there um, i don't know what is the reason behind making this in this way they could have you know done a better job at least and uh, even the fuel tank cap for example the fit and finish is not cool it could have been freaking better <laughs> that's what i feel yeah all in all few glitches and yeah if at all you have, you need to have a tail bag when you are doing a long rides where do i tie it on the back yeah of course on the front i can use the space here maybe but back where do i do that so yeah erox you guys need to think about it because you are advertising or you are marketing this bike as a 
tourer scooter tourer maxi scooter and those things uh, should be taken care of worst part is you know yamaha maw morong auto works nepal they don't have the product with them now i was thinking about exchanging my adventure with this let's see if they give me a product with a good resale value of that bike then i'm going to consider this bike so for now it's going to be a bye bye thank you for people for watching this video if you are doing it i'd like to request you guys to you know the drill right subscribe to my channel and help me grow i think it's the first video where in you are not seeing my face today i didn't have time to show you my beautiful and handsome face beautiful or handsome handsome face of course bald and beautiful bald and handsome <laughs> okay people bye bye have a great time it's wednesday today have a wonderful time you still have two days for your weekend enjoy enjoy your walk i'll see you in my next vlog bye bye ciao